G'day and welcome back to our Ottoman Cossacks campaign where we're going to declare war on Blukistan. Um, actually, who's Bamanus allied with? Only Jompur. Alright, so we're going to declare directly on Jompur because Ming and Hejaz will come in. We want to... Who's Kandash? Oh, down there. Um, Kandash we don't care about, but Bamanus will do and Blukistan will do. We'll do this over... Molten. Sounds fine. Alright, declare that. Now, what I hadn't noticed was what happened to the Timurids over here. So I've just started fabricating on Kiva over at Copper Dog. And we'll go sort that out eventually. Alright, a bunch of guys in. It is a pretty strong alliance. Mostly Jean Poirot and Barmanis, as expected. That's why we didn't want Barmanis in the war. But we should be alright. Particularly if we focus on these guys to start with. So we're going to make sure we've got our siege leaders in. Ismael. Um, go to the, can't get to the capital. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess we'll go this way. We'll quickly do that. This guy's going to split up and do these for us. We've got the other armies coming across eventually. This is our fleet carrying the other to artillery. And the Battle of Jangladesh went well, luckily. French Sunrest is a no. Fine. Got discovered in Copper Dog, knew that was going to happen. Got Umakot, let's go kill him. Got Seaweed. Uh, won't worry about that. Let's go down to Mawa. We have to watch out for the Jompuri and Bamanasi armies. Yeah, that's not cool. Did put a leader in there. Alright, we're going to have to look for what kind of leaders we can get. We are ahead of time in military. We're doing an idea group, but having a decent army is going to be more important right now. So let's put Isapiri in there. Right, you will come over to Karan. That is Khorasan coming over. Just got to beat him to all the sieges, hopefully. Khorasan gets there before us. It's unfortunate. He won't be able to get to that, though. Alright, this is going to definitely be a loss. Unless we can reinforce. Crap, get out of there. Alright, pull these guys back as well. Why have we not run away? Thank you, but you go on next door, which is stupid. Yeah, it's just the attacks there immediately. Perfect. First of June. Second of June. Well, might be able to force march our way out of there. Just have to go through this way. Mighty fortress in Kolostan, you should be able to get past, so we can turn forced march off. This guy will come up here. Uh, forgot we're moving them, okay. Not cool, dude. Seriously. Ming, are you even doing anything? There's some claims over there, just you know, get your armies in already. How many Minganese are there? Yeah, about half as many as we have, but they should do a hell of a lot of damage. Got more artillery than we do, because we can't afford crap. All right, Ming, get in and do your job. That's the only reason we accepted Barmanus coming into the war. That's annoying. And this guy's lost. There you it out. And yes, large armies everywhere that are rather scary. Seriously, large armies everywhere that we really don't want to deal with. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. 
Did we end up getting this guy? We did not. You need to come and reinforce. These guys are getting through. This fleet need to protect trade in Constantinople. Never even looked at where our guys are. What are you doing? You're pushing that way. We need more power down in Alexandria. It'd be better than sending the boats there. Yep. All right. Protect in Alexandria. All right, that should be all of our armies either moving or getting destroyed over here. Win that one quickly. We will lose Diplo. Need all the prestige we can get at the moment. We would like to lose 5% per month. We would be perfectly fine with that. We don't need to actually just keep grouping people together. Manpower should be fine. If we don't have too many armies, losing too much. It's better than them getting uh, split off when they retreat. The Jazz now don't want to do much. And you know what? Let's tell... It's only Cyprus that's going to be in, but let's tell everybody to be supportive. How long you claim Marum? Heretics. Local missionary strength down just in Kumis. I think that's the way we'd rather go. I'm not going to be chasing heretics down anywhere. Not Balochistan. Seriously. Ismail. That is going to fall rather fast. But we don't want to be anywhere else really. You need to go somewhere safer. We've lost Kolostan. Okay. It's already losing this war. And that's not going to be good. You have is a Piri. All right, let's take a look. He's a two-two. He's slightly better, although not much of a river crossing to be worth worrying about there. This guy will take Issa, Khorasan. He's taking that back from Baluchistan. That's all right. Can we get access through them? I just want to go and start. We can. Alright. Just get them around there. This is going to be a really harsh battle. Let's give this one chance of succeeding, and then we'll pull all those men out. Alright. Create a new unit with one caretaker. Everybody else is going to back this up. When they're done, go back. And go on Kandesh over there. Um, let's group this into one giant army under Izabiri. It's not going to be good. Yep, they're bringing in that 30 stack as well. And that 40 stack. Jesus. Well, we have very minor. You know what? Well, we've got morale of armies already. Can we do anything else? Shock. Oh, we should turn that on. Attrition for enemies. Garrison growth. No, nothing's going to help right now. And the next one be maneuver. Yeah, nothing helpful. And force on the modifier we got with the last one too. It would be nice if we had that many men. Oh. Well. Are going to lose this battle. Come on. No. God damn it. And they're all going to split off, and he's got all the morale now. So that sucks balls. Yep, now they're going to come up directly to there. Well. 
it is him that's coming in. We've got no way to get this army out, so we're going to lose everybody here. Alright, can we super peace against them? We cannot. Alright, it's going to be a loss. He backed off. Lucky. Where the hell are you going, you tosser? Oh, seriously, you're going that far around. Get back down here. Get rid of that. Well, yeah, get rid of that military access. Just need to win this at least. Damn it. Under attack in Kalat. Yes, of course we are. He's popped a minus two this time. Everybody's in there. Got a 1 5 to his 4 3. Not going to help us. We are taking care of his numbers because it's in the mountains. But rolling zeros is 1s, 2s. More zeros is just not how we want to roll. Alright, everybody run the hell away. Ming, where the hell are you? Come on. He's finally come in at least. So, while we're distracting the enemy and losing all our manpower, Ming's getting started. Alright, forgot about Kumis. Get rid of that. Alright, we have four little armies. One, two, three, four. Need to pull everybody down to the coastline where we've got supply. And then reorganize what we're doing. I'm paying a lot for reinforcements. Seriously. Cheating little bastard. 11th. 7th. Alright. We're going up to this coastline isn't actually much of a coastline. Alright then. Pull right the hell back. We'll put them all in one spot and then just re-split. Khorasan's probably going to get screwed now. He is only at war with Blukistan though. Don't know how that worked. Jompor didn't defend Blukistan there. They'll defend us. And against us. Alright, need all them. Hang on. We got a four siege leader. How did I not notice that? Alright, Kuzhistan. Where are our better forts? They're all over there. Yes, none of these are going to last too long. And we can't afford. Yeah. 66 ducats a month for reinforcement. And we don't actually have enough manpower for our armies. <laughs> Get in there quickly. Alright. That's enough. Split, split. Alright, how did that actually work out? 27, 7, 11. Mighty Fortress is under attack again. All of our allies are over here. We have... Crimea. Yeah, none of them are really worth trying to bring in. Losing sieges already. To regroup, regroup some of these dudes. It is crap that we are still... Just taking attrition, sitting in our own lands. Nothing around here is going to be good enough. I don't want to walk all the way back there, but we will for now. Wait until Ming distract him a bit. Let Ming 
deal with it a bit. It's giving it all to us, so that's fine. Alright, got a clay mine, copper dog. We could do a quick war against Kiva. Fabricate claim on that. We'll be caught again. This annexation is still going ahead. Still renewing loans. It's fine. It's formed a PU with Brandenburg. Didn't that... Wait. He's already... Brandenburg was released and he got another PU over him. He already got the PU and inherited him. Now he's been spat out and got the PU. Okay. Lost the siege of Yazd. Yeah, we're not doing too bad, really. Defender controls Malton, otherwise we'd be winning thanks to Ming. We have to keep a close eye on Ming's enthusiasm, though, aren't we? He starts losing some battles, which are now happening over there. All right. And of course he's spread out so that he's going to get slaughtered left, right and centre. And the fact that we have no manpower left is our cue to head over there and start helping. So, let's go... Hajaz is going to do the back line. Let's... Take this one. We'll go do it in a decent sort of order, I guess. Oop. Uh, four guys, four armies in four provinces. Come on, Ming. Ming are more disciplined, have less morale, with better tactics. Compared to Balmanus. And reinforcing themselves too. Good. And they are doing more damage. Good. Burn him at the stake. Yes. Alright, I've tripled their men. So we should be able to do a lot better than we did before. I keep thinking that's the Hassa. It's Kandesh. No, no, no. Get in there. Get in there. Faster. There we go. Beat him off there. And he's beat him off there. Nice. Alright. As much as I'd love to go up there and do stuff. Uh, money issues are only going to get worse. I've only got two loans though, it's not too bad. Gelray has become Emperor. What the hell happened there? Everybody hates Austria for some reason. Why? Austria has gone reformed. Really. Awesome choice there, Austria. Um, I don't see any problem with that. With your couple of provinces. <laughs> okay. Okay. Austria wants to die. We need to tell Hajaz and Cyprus. Hmm. How about Hajaz come here and Cyprus come here. Stand next to each other. Defend each other. Be nice to each other. areas as much as we can. Good. Don't have supply anywhere. Kinda sucks. That Barmanasi army there need to die. Alright Ming. You got the big army. You need to do it all. Portugal paid ducats to Friesland. Wadar back. Uh, let's go get a few more while we're over here.
We can't get there because we're stuck. Okay, well, we're going to sit there. And we'll just stay there for now. Now we've got his capital. So we've got positive war score. Hopefully, Ming can hold on. Yep, there he goes. Let's get the reinforcements in. Who's that? That's Bengal. Should be alright. Lost Yazd again. Chabahar back. Go kill the Balikistani army. Actually got through this list pretty quickly. Thought it'd be a lot more than that. Alright, Lucasan. You just need to die, buddy. Hmm. Yazd. Alright, you're going to Chagai. Their battle with Hajaz, so we don't need to worry about that. Mountainous up there, we will split these guys in half. Since it's in the back line, we should be okay. And now Khajaz is not going there. God damn it. Well, this slot have supply, so they'll stay there. Portugal is going to war with Kong again. Yep, yep, yep. Ming are now spreading out too far. I don't know why he didn't do this bit up here. Yeah, send some guys around there. Alright, got Kerman back. Down this way. One Sawan. Good. That is coming back from Sawan. So let's go to Jai Soma. So that he can start creating small guys. Everybody likes this. That's still okay. Alright, one Kalat. So we can now head over to their capital. We will definitely split this in half. He's going to Kalat. Let's just... Right, let's do this a little faster. Do both of them and then chuck them in. All right, the money. The loom is as high as we can get. To me, we don't care. Missionary strength down isn't good, but better this way around. Tech cost and tolerance the heretics will sort itself out. All right, they are fine. Um, Balukistan took land from Khorasan. That's alright. You are going to Kalat. We will probably be able to beat you there. We can't. But, Izapiri, we'll get it done. Alright, if we're in a battle, that's just land land manoeuvre. Um, yeah, we're ahead of time again, so definitely take it. Next will be land maintenance, which is going to be rather important. Disloyal the state, doesn't matter. Alright, got these two. Send them up further. Won the Battle of Kalat. One Jai Solma, good. Head up this way. He's doing that. We'll be able to get down to Kutch now if we need to. Don't know where the rest of the Ming army's gone. Doesn't look like all of them. Maybe claim is La Touche. That's all just Muscovy, that's fine. Should do no guy at some point as well. Alright, we got Siwi. So, Ming. Yeah, you've lost most of your men. Must have no manpower to replace them. But, ditto with Barmanus. He looks in a lot of pain over there. So, we'll go down and take back Kutch. And then we'll... Oh, we've got two forts there. Um, then we'll go sort them out. You're going to be attacked by Baluchistan. 
sand is no more. No, it still has more. Nice. Alright. Um, can't remember where that came from. Let's put it down this way then. Da and Chabaha. Farah is small. He will go to Chabaha, become part of that army. Alright, well, we'll take a short break here. When we come back, we will continue this war inland somewhere. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.